So we're making our way to the Charles Darwin Center in Galapagos, Santa Cruz, uh, Ecuador. Um, so when you get up here, you guys, you come walking, there's a pathway it cuts off, and there's a national park gu uh, guy standing there. Usually you meet a shuttle, a shuttle will take you through all this, because it's a 10 minute walk to the Charles Darwin Center. But on our way to the Charles Darwin Center, right now we're in a 10 minute walk to get there. Um, there's this awesome store right here, I'm gonna show you. But right here, you guys, as we're walking, here's a shop, the Evolution uh, Galapagos. All, uh, all about the evolution and and so on and so forth of Charles Darwin. So that's pretty cool. You got a little, you know, picture of him and picture of him there. Pretty cool. That's right in there, you guys. So we walked about five, six, seven minutes, and now we're at the path of the tortoise, which is going to show us, I think, the evolution of the tortoise, how what how it became, and what it is. And how it became, you know, what it is over here in the Galapagos. So that's pretty cool. We're on the path of the tortoise. We're going to check that out. There's also a beach over here at Charles Darwin uh, Center. And one thing I learned about this cactus is, you know how these cactuses, they have a long stem. And then they have cactus, you know, stemming down from the stem. is because they do not get water by the stem. They actually get water from the fog in the air, which then causes the cactus to get like a tree-like stem and then branch off it with other cacti. So I thought that was pretty cool. I thought I'd share that with you guys, that the, the way that the cactuses here get water is from the fog. So that's pretty cool. So as we walk through Darwin's museum or research center you see these giant tortoises look at these guys oh, they're making noises yep i heard that did you guys hear that sound that they made look at this one in the back with his neck all the way up oh look at the turtle they're hiding these are tortoises baby oh why are the turtles? I mean, they're turtles, but they're a different kind of turtle. Big, 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 big. These are giant tortoises, you guys. Here's a guy over here just posing for everybody. Look at this guy flexing his muscles as he's crawling down. So now, normal tortoises don't have that elongated type no, neck don't. thing, do they? No, they evolved here in the island to be able to reach food up high because their food was being taken away. So kind of like this guy's neck over here being stretched out. Yeah. Yeah. So right there, you guys, you oh, see that they have, they have a long neck, you guys. Look at this neck they got. And that is endemic. This is endemic to the Galapagos Islands. You only see this in the Galapagos Islands, you guys. This tortoise is only in the Galapagos, the long neck tortoise, or giant tortoise. Look at the neck on that. That is wild. Do you think this tur- Do you think tortoises are co are connected to sloths in some way? Well, what they the... have a lot of weight. I wonder how much, how much do they weigh about? Yeah. I don't know. That's a, that's a... Oh, he's going to eat some leaves. Well, let me get that again. Okay. Open your mouth. The baby comes. Two leaves. Oh, he's not going to eat? He wants to know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> he's like, I can eat any day. What are these people doing? <laughs>
I don't think we can go any further. The right resources to send them back. And what is the right resources? The speedboat, the helicopter. So cool. What does that mean? Johnny number five. <laughs> so here are them as babies. I think this is like teenage stage here, huh? Oh, teenage stage. Alright, these are the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles right here, guys. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're on their way to becoming the giant tortoises that their parents are. They're the one over there yawning. Here are the baby turtles. They're so cute. They're eating. Wait, that's so as we're walking through Charles Darwin there's a lizard path over here and you gotta literally walk around them look at these guys it's like a lizard path you gotta walk all around them here's another lizard or marine iguanas I should say here they are just chilling on the path as well. You gotta make sure you pay attention to where they are because they blend in really well with the scenery. There's a lot of black rocks. There's another one running across. There's a little guy right here. So once you walk your way, you know, through the the path and this and that, you get led all the way to Darwin's actual exhibition center or research station you might want to say so we're going to go inside we're going to show you guys what the research station looks like so after all that walking you come up to the research center let's go check it out oh man so a cool thing is when you come to the darwin center or research center you actually get a stamp you can actually stamp your passport that is what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like on the actual passport. You actually get to stamp your passport, you guys, with this free stamp over here at the Darwin Center. So make sure when you come to the Darwin Center, get your free passport stamp. So after you get your stamp, here's a book, you know, saying, you know, who's all been here from where. But when you walk in here, you get to see the amazing Galapagos and all the endemic um mammals and all the endemic animals that are in this region the sea lions the blue-footed booby the marine iguanas all of them you guys these are everything that is a, a, a endemic that you can only find in the galapagos islands there's a tortoise the one that we just looked at you got the sea lion that comes up by the people you got the crab you got this big, giant Charles Darwin picture. Let me stand far back, but it's made of, like, little pictures of all the endemic animals that are found in the Galapagos. And it makes this big picture of Charles Darwin. So that's pretty cool. It took a lot of little pictures. This right here is... A fossil of the Bellina whale, Bride's whale, and Bellina tropical. Look at this whale fossil. It's insane. And you can even see the bone marrow in between the bones, which is really cool. I, you never see that at like museums or anything. You never see like the actual bone marrow. The fact that you can actually see the marrow shows that this is about as real as it gets. Like, look at the marrow in there. So then you got a little fun exhibit over here where you can take pictures, act like a long neck turtle. So here is the front of the bride's whale as well, you guys. Look at this. Uh, obviously, they're missing this part of the jowl, but uh, look at this is the head of it. 
And the jowl right here, you guys. Now look at this. It says do not touch. They have the fossils numbered. So as you come to another little corner of the Darwin's Museum, you got a picture of, you know, Darwin. And, you know, a couple of his uh, things he had. Followed by some scrolls, some maps, some coral, some rocks and stuff. You know, is this, is this back when he was around? Who knows? But, you know, they made it look as close as they could. You got some soil. It's found over here only in the Galapagos. Actually, there is Olvine sand, Arena Olvina. This is the black sand. Oh, wow. Look at red sand, black sand. These are all golden sand, white sand. Cool. So there's another room here called the collections room. You got the marine iguana. You got tortoise shells. Various tortoises that you can find in the Galapagos. Short-eared owl. A special type of coral. The Avispa amarilla. The yellow pig. The yellow purple. That's a short-eared owl, honey. Wait, wait, that's the, the yellow paper wasp. That's probably why you got some by. Yeah. Mom, look, that is so cool. A dolphin. A dolphin. Mm -hmm. And here is the Pelican Pelicano Cafe.